Welcome to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube page. My name is Catalina and I'm here to teach you all the things about how to run your photo booth business. Today, we're gonna learn about where to find leads and how to close leads specifically for your photo booth business. This year, there are going to be so many weddings happening and Yahoo just recently released a report stating that there's going to be 2.5 million weddings happening in 2022 alone. So if there was every year to start your photo booth business or to take your photo booth business to the next level, that year is now. So let's go over the 10 tips for closing and getting wedding leads in 2022. Before I go into the 10 tips, I want you guys to set goals because this is the most important thing that you can ever do for your business. What does your business look like in six months? Is this something that you only want to do on the weekends? That's okay. Just make sure that you set that as a goal. I want my business to only be a weekend side hustle. Do you want to build the biggest photo booth business you possibly can? Great. Make that your goal. How much money do you want to make? How many employees do you want to have? What is your ideal situation if you were to fast forward your business one year from now or six months from now, what does that look like? Please set goals because this is going to help you make all of the decisions going forward. Tip number one, go where your clients are. So most wedding clients and couples aren't found on LinkedIn, but you know where they are found? Instagram and Pinterest. Make sure that you focus your efforts on one channel specifically and not try to conquer all of them. Budget brides love Facebook. So if you are a volume photo booth company that's at a lower price point, then you're gonna wanna be in all of the Facebook groups in your area. Tip number two, whatever you do, be absolutely obsessed. Wedding clients want to see a feed that's full of wedding content. So you wanna make sure that you only publish stuff that is wedding related. If you need some help, here's three ideas of stuff that you can post. Now you might be wondering, why would I post this stuff that doesn't have anything to do with photo booths? You're right, it doesn't, but guess what? You're gonna find clients because this is what clients are looking for when they are searching for their wedding. So they're gonna find you because you are writing all this great content and it really positions you as a professional. Tip number three is to build trust. The one thing I can say looking back on my own photo booth career that made a huge difference was doing events for free. I know exposure bucks don't pay the bills, but if you do it right, it will pay the bills in the future. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna offer one free event to a planner and they can use that either for one of their clients or for themselves. You're gonna make sure that you outline exactly how much the value of the package that you're giving them is worth. And I want you guys to go all out biggest package you can possibly have because whatever you show them is what they're going to want and expect from you in the future. So if you show up doing a really like just a photo booth on its own, that's what they're going to ask for. But if you do beautiful backdrops, unlimited prints, all that kind of stuff, they're going to want that. Bonus points is that every time you show up to a wedding or another event, there's probably going to be people there who are also going to be getting married or have an event. So make sure that you pack business cards. And if you want to download the exact email that we used for Modern Photo Booth to get our planners to give us an awesome free event. Just go in the comments below and there'll be a link there for you to download it. Tip number four, make it easy for your clients to reach out to you. Make sure that your form on your website is as simple as possible. Name, email, phone number, and then ask an open-ended question like, tell me more about your wedding or what would your ideal wedding photo booth be like? Also, don't forget to get the actual date of the wedding because that is crucial information. Tip number five is a really easy one, but one that's overlooked, I think, a lot. Make sure that you respond to your leads really quickly. People want to deal with vendors that are responsive. So by no stretch of the imagination should you ever ever, ever, ever wait more than 24 hours to respond to a lead. Tip number six, send a personalized proposal to your clients. Using the Salsa app, you can easily create a beautiful proposal that is gonna help you stand out. I can tell you that proposals will make a huge difference in your business because most people just send out an email with a couple of line items and a giant price at the bottom and that is it. So this one tip will help you stand out a huge amount. And below, I'm gonna link you guys to the support article on just how easy it is to create these proposals in the Salsa app. Now, bonus points is that you can set up generic proposals in Salsa app so you can have them handy and ready to go. Set up one for your glam wedding booth, set up one for your digital booth, and set up one for your print booth so that that way you can easily link to any of these should a quote come in. Tip number seven is to put an expiry date. This is super important because it creates urgency, but it also gives you an excuse to follow up with your client, which is tip number eight. Tip number eight is to follow up. We follow up up to seven times until we're told yes, no, and why. So there's a right way and a wrong way to follow up. If you do it the wrong way, it'll 
keep your clients feeling kind of icky and they'll never really want to deal with you again. But if you do it the right way, they will feel great about their experience and you'll be in the back of their mind for any events coming up. In the comments, I'm also including a download for a template to all of our follow-up emails. Tip number nine is to take that money. Honestly, make it easy for your clients to pay you. Include payment information in your invoice and make sure that you accept credit card or have your ACH details in your invoice because the longer people have to wait to pay you, the bigger chance you have of losing that client. Make sure you also use legit business tools. Do not use your personal Venmo at all to collect payment for your photo booth. Tip number 10, and this is our final tip, is to ask for reviews. So when the event is done, make sure you reach out to your client or your planner and ask them for a review. If you make the email personal and link directly to where you want them to leave a review, it'll make it a lot easier and your chances of getting that review will go up. For us, it's Google, so we link them directly to the Google review section for them to easily leave one. Do any of these tips resonate with you? Because if they do, I really wanna hear about it in the comments. And don't forget to tune in next week where we will have a fresh new video for you.